It's Saturday night and Shadow and I are going to go up the canyon and do some astrophotography. And tonight we're going to be taking the Orion EON quadruplet, a 70 millimeter aperture, uh, which will allow us to get some targets that require a very wide uh, field of view. Big targets. Come along with us. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Shadow was most anxious to go. Look at that little expression. He wants to go. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Getting a much later start up the canyon than I normally uh, do. I got a call from work, even though it's Saturday. Work calls it took up about an hour, so I'm running late. are imaging tonight the heart and soul nebula it's one that requires to get both of those in the same uh, image it requires a wide field of view which is why I brought this scope up with me tonight so we're on it uh, and once the guiding has gone through its steps we'll start imaging okay we've got uh, the heart and soul nebula you can see it's starting to form uh, we'll come back to it here in a few minutes even uh, but just a little bit of background about this nebula that the heart nebula is on the left and the soul nebula is on the right they are approximately 7500 light years from earth and they're located in uh, the constellation cassiopeia one of the things i like to do when i'm waiting is just to build a little fire and it's a little fire because i don't want it to throw out very much light this scope is pointed in the opposite direction and this is inside of really a uh, grill <laughs> that the picnic ground has here so it has sides to it so as long as I keep the flame real low and don't let it get up above the top of the sides then really the light doesn't interfere with the uh, imaging that's going on Okay, we're at 183 stacked frames, or 45 minutes worth of data. Um, I like the, the nebula. Both, both the soul and the heart nebula are coming along nice. Shadow's barking, I better go see what he's barking at. Well, it's one in the morning. I've got two hours of data on the heart and soul nebula. Shadow's got his coyote vest on to keep him safe and his tracker. I don't want to lose him and he's been doing guard duty, which is our little arrangement. We keep each other safe. So we're going to pack up here in a minute, but you know, it's kind of nice out here. Sitting by the fire, listening to the crickets. The rig's over there doing its thing. We may just stay a little longer. We'll see. We now have two and a half hours of data. Love how the heart nebula is coming. By the way, it has a star cluster in the middle and it's an emissions nebula. That means that the, uh, the particles that make up the nebula are emitting light as opposed to a reflecting nebula. This is an emitting nebula, as is the soul nebula. They're both emitting nebulas. But in addition, they have very dense star clusters in the middle that uh, further illuminate them. All right, as much as I hate to leave, it's 2.10 in the morning. And I've got 179 minutes of data. So, uh, let's see. Three hours would be uh, three times six is 180. So I've got three hours. I'll wait one more minute and get, and get a full three hours of data. Uh, it's been a wonderful night just out here under the stars, photographing the heart and soul nebula, listening to the crickets, uh, gazing up at the stars, seeing the Milky Way. And it just, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. It doesn't get any better than this. I hate to leave. 
But if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to be really tired tomorrow. So I need to head out of here. All right. Good night.